Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Edit Creations. Today I have for you another set of the True Story album kit layouts that I've converted from six by eight to eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. I have five layouts for you today. I do have a little bit more um, scraps that I can make some more layouts. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I kind of feel like I'm done with this portion of the layout. I still need to go back and add um, the foot flaps to the beginning section. And I might just focus on that and see if that's where I'm finished. I'm kind of kind of not sure about that one yet. <clears throat> but I do probably have enough to do a couple more layouts and then those um, acrylic pieces, which I did poke holes in them to put them into the other layouts. Um, I can actually show you. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but I had to poke the hole here. It's a smaller hole and it kind of split the acrylic a little bit. I used my, um, the We Are Memory Keepers um, punch and I put that back away. Sorry. I will notate that down below. Yeah, like my little cut. <laughs> Paper attacks. Okay, so this is page 18. I titled it, of course, These Are the Days. And I went with a couple of different areas. Um, of course, craft eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. I cut a piece of shortbread. I'm still determined to use this paper, um, six by eight. And then I added this little piece right here. That one is from... I didn't mark that one down for some reason. It's from this um, this mat right here or right here, depending on which one you're you're looking at. But it's those, and I will get that in the the description. I'm sorry, I forgot about that one. I had a the sticker originally from here, and I had cut it because I was going to use it. Um, in, in a couple different areas and put a little bit here, oops, a little bit here, a little bit here on two, in two areas. So I cut it down to four pieces. And when I put the two pieces together to kind of make this area, I didn't like how it kind of kept pulling up. That's one problem I don't like about stickers is that they don't always stay sticky. So this, I just, I found this paper sitting over there and I thought, you know what? I really like that paper. I'm going to use it. So I did. Okay, so the shortbread paper six by eight, Sundance and Paprika sticker, which is the one I removed. Um, ballerina and Flamingo paper, I just kind of, because it's kind of two-toned here. That is from this layout right here, as well as this little sticker strip. And I actually put this sticker over the holes. Instead of putting it here, I just put it right over those little holes, okay? And then this journaling piece right here is from page 16 as well. It's the Sunday through Saturday. Um, I didn't really want to use the Sunday through Saturday, so I just kind of angled these in a, a way that it covered the words. That's all I did to that, aside from using this um, note paper punch, whatever it is, to, to create these little... Let's see here. I've got something else, I think, over here that has those... Um, I am mistaken. I thought this had, see, I have this little piece from one of the pockets. I thought it had it as well. It does not. So it just, I just kind of made these little pieces right here because I wanted some, some different something there. And then, um, these hearts I punched out using this punch right here. It's got a bunch of different hearts and I liked this one. It kind of felt like some of the similar ones for this layout. These are the days right here is from page 12, um, right here. And this love this smile. I was determined to use this stamp set on this book. So I used it. It's from the Cherished Blossoms, and I just did it in black. I kind of had wanted the heart to be a different color, but I was kind of lazy. I just thought it looked fine, so I just ran with it, and it matches the black here. Um, 
had I not had a bunch of tax returns to do today, I probably would have um, tried doing a little bit more mixing, but it was just, it was a very busy day. And so I wanted to be able to get at least a video out today to finish up these layouts. So I really focused this evening on getting the rest of this done. So I didn't really want to run around and, you know, do too much, but I'm happy with it. I think it's cute. It's kind of a teen style to me layout, but that's just my thoughts. You know, somebody might look at that and say, oh, that's totally a kid. Okay, the next one will be page 19, You Are Loved. And I got most of the pieces from this page, page 17. Here's the rest of page 17. Actually, I'm going to leave it to here. Okay, I did use a flip flop here, but I did it the opposite way. And, of course, I put a magnet in it. Okay, so on this one, we've got craft eight and a half by 11 and a fourth, white daisy eight by 10 and three quarters. And then this page right here, this right here is ballerina seven by eight and a half. Again, had I had all the time in the world, I probably would have just used a strip, but I did use the paper all the way across. Um, the white and ballerina base is this piece right here. The holes I have over on this side, this is the larger of these two patterns. It's over here so I could cover it up with stuff. Um, I used the photo mats I used are Desert Rose. And there's two of them that are 3 by 4 and one that is 4 by 4 And I chose to do the 4 by 4 because I kind of wanted it to overlap on this pocket. Because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. And I'm still not sure. I feel like I should put something there, but I'm kind of waiting till I get pictures there to see what I'm going to put in here. Okay, this pocket is from page 17 right here. This pocket right here is the one I used earlier, and this one I'm going to use later. Um, the tags I used on here, oh, I knew there was one. Here's one that has kind of that same, same punch. My Happy Place, Sunshine, and then just a tag. I decided to leave those blank for right now. I'm kind of thinking I want to put pictures in them. And I have a feeling I'm going to cut along the photo mat right here so that I can take these in and out. But we'll see what happens when I finish the layout. Okay, um, there's this little flower strip right here that is from here. I put it here, page 17 again. This um, kind of a Sundance checkered pattern is from page 17 as well. There's actually two of those and I used them in two different areas. Um, this little piece is where this heart goes. I still use the heart for page 17 on this, but this one I took the You Are Loved from We Are Good Together. I took that and I kind of smushed my finger on there a little bit. And so I took this little blob and this little spiral. I'm actually missing this one. I have no idea where it went. I'm kind of hoping it's in my Halloween stuff. If it's not there, I'm not sure where it's at. And then I took this little burst as well. No, this burst. I was going to do this one, but I chose that one instead. And I stamped those in um, Glacier. Kind of matched my finger over there. And then, let's see here, is there anything else on this one? I'm trying to be a little quicker tonight because I know y'all have been so patient with my long videos. I did use this twine again. It kind of matches this desert rose, and that's why I used it. Okay, so layout 19. Now let's go for layout 20. Okay, layout 20 is the pocket layout. One of the reasons I bought this kit was for these pockets. Okay, so I am very torn on how I'm going to put this into the, the um, page protectors. Because these up here, I don't really have to cut an extra strip. I can pull those from the top. And I kind of want to use these possibly for photos. These two down here, I think, where, well, I should say where I'm at right now, I'm going to cut a slit here and I'm going to cut another slit and have these sticking out so I can use them and access them. Okay. So I did my base paper craft, of course, eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. 
And then Glacier, the light side, is uh, 8 by 10 and 3 quarters. Let me scroll this up. Okay. The pockets are from page 18. The tags are also from page 18. The banner on the pocket right here, I just thought was so cute. I kind of want to put, let's see, where is it? I've got two hearts left that I'm not sure what I want to do with. I kind of want to put that there or that one, which I'm kind of feeling that one more, but I haven't decided yet. So that's still kind of up in the air on that one. I, I need a little bit more time to kind of, usually what when this happens, if I step away and I come back, it happens. And so that's where that one's at right now is it's a step away and I'll see how, where it goes. Okay, so then this sticker right here is, stripe sticker is from page one. This is from, this uh, Sundance Checkered Circles from the page 17, it's that second one. The Noted is also from page 17. The hearts I cut out of flamingo paper using this punch. I was going to put one up here. I just didn't care for it. I have some that are, let's see, there's a little pile over here somewhere. Actually, I have one that is here. Let's see, I've got a lot of stuff. I just, I don't like that. I don't care for that. Even the lighter color, it just doesn't look right to me. But putting the black up here would kind of pull your eyes around. Okay, so then what I did was I added twine to all of these. I put these pockets in, this one's catching right now. I'm not going to fight with it on camera. So I put this one inch in here and one inch in here, one inch, one inch. And I tried to use my ruler so that they were as straight as possible because when you've got four items like that, you want them to be straight. You don't want them to be I'm going to take you out because you're bugging me. Um, you want them to be as straight as possible. You, it's really obvious when you have this many items and you're trying to make them straight, just kind of like on your wall. If you put up this type of a, a situation on your wall with pictures or with miscellaneous things, and they're all the same square or same rectangle or same shape, it's really noticeable if they're not even. So hopefully... With what I did, I made them as even as possible. I then did the flip flaps in the two by two size. So two of them have ballerina with um, that are is two and a fourth by two and a fourth. I anchored it down behind that. The photo area space is two by two, and there is a magnet in there. I did the same here and a magnet, and I used glacier over here because it looked really funny putting. <laughs> the pink on this one. Um, but I was really happy with it. I'm, I'm loving how this turned out. I have not decided officially how I'm doing the photo mats, but since this is bugging me, there it's in. Yay! Sorry. Um, little wins today. Little wins. Okay, so that is this, this layout. And this one was number 20. Number 21 is technically the last layout. <laughs> I really didn't use much. <laughs> I tried. I tried. But this circle is huge. And I don't know. I just, I have like the noted, or the, whatever these letters are. Real, keeping it real, I think is what it is. And I'm just not loving it. It's just big and chunky. But I do like these little brackets. They just don't work right now for what I'm doing. But so I still have all those pieces. I, you know, like I said, I've got enough to do another layout or two or three or four. Um, so on this one, it is craft eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. And then lagoon, I cut eight by 10 and three quarters. I just was feeling lagoon because of the stripes here on the grid paper. And I love this grid paper. I was so happy I got to have more of it. Okay, so I did cut off this strip, which is just this little, it's got little tri. Uh, there we go. Little triangles on it. I wasn't loving them. And so I was like, eh, we'll just see. Maybe they'll work someplace else. I took this little sticker strip, which is really only about this big, and I cut a little bit so it extends. 
And then I cut around the other part of the sticker strip. Um, I set that someplace else. I was intentionally set that someplace where I would find it. And then I apparently did not do that right. <laughs> oh, it's the day. But this was just around the outside of the sticker strip. Just like, and here's all these others that I've been using. So it's just one of these pieces that is on the outside of the sticker strip. So I put that here and then cut a little piece for over here as well. And I made sure that it started with white and it ended with white so that it matched. But I really liked that piece right there. So I thought, why not? I'll just do it. And it's this kind of the shortbread color. So then I had just put these four photo mats on here. The poor little photo mats kept getting taken up and down, up and down, up and down. They're probably like, make up your mind, woman. So I cut this piece right here. It's this um, shortbread color. And it's a little over four by four. And I cut two inch strips and I just toss the little one fourth bit into the, the recycle bin. I flagged both ends and didn't like it. <laughs> so then I unflagged, well, this end, but I also kind of, this is a little sharper than I wanted. So I just kind of trimmed it up a little bit so it was a little less pointy. And then I had a couple extra pieces where I cut everything to two by two. So I put a piece here, here, and here. And if you want to see what I did, look at it. It's flagged. And now it's not. Yay! See? We all make, you know, choices. And I didn't want to lose that paper. And I didn't want to cut it again. So I just said, nope. I didn't like it being flagged at both ends. It looked kind of silly. But I love it being flagged just down here. And I like this continuation and I love the fact that the grid paper made it so easy to line it all up. Okay, this right here, this journaling piece, we are on Always Be Your Own Kind of Wonderful. So this piece right here is from page 12. And it had, here. wow, that was crazy. It had this piece on it. And I just cut that piece off. And then I actually cut, this side was um, the ending side. Let's see here, let's go right back. It's a little bigger than what I left over here. So I just kind of evened those up so that each side was one, one quarter of an inch. Just to use my trimmer to line that up and match that. And then I added these little black flowers and those are from page seven. I did the title is craft two by three and then white daisy one and three quarters by two and three quarters both layers are popped for me today and i was determined to use always be your own kind of wonderful and so i got to use that which i'd been wanting to and i did not use any flips or flaps on this i don't know if i will i might i was just kind of happy with where it was right now my thoughts are to stamp out some of these butterflies and add here. But I thought I better wait until I have the pictures. So I did. I just said, okay, we're waiting. We're waiting a smidge. So the first of the extra layouts and the only one I have to show for you today is this. It's kind of a hot mess and I kind of love it. I had a lot of fun with it. I wanted to watercolor the background and I didn't want to wait for it to dry. So you know how that goes. I used Glacier ink and I have these little cups. Oops, cups. Um, so I just used water and the Glacier ink in that cup with this little brush. And then when I was done with that, I went back with my sparkle. It's just clear sparkle from... Um, I think it's Spectrum Noir, actually. Spectrum Noir, yeah. And then I just kind of did a bit because I wanted it to be a little sparkly. So you just kind of added some sparkle here and there. You can always have, you know, or you can never have too much sparkle, but you can always have too much glitter. I'm not a big glitter person because it just gets everywhere. But these glitter pins, they don't, which I like and I appreciate. So um, 
let's just set that aside. So craft eight and a half by 11 and a fourth. The white daisy I cut to was eight by 10 and three quarters after I did the other. Here's the remainder of that piece. I could make a tag or something out of that. It's really pretty. I love the glacier color. It's just so pretty. So I used glacier, the dark side for the photo mats. There's two three by fours. I had this one and I wanted to have some journaling here because I wanted to have like either a hidden picture or journaling here. So I thought I've got a ton of this. I mean, I, this was one of the long pieces from page nine and this just goes right here or maybe this, it goes right here like that. And then there's also this piece <laughs> that makes the whole piece. And I have that used. So I cut that to fit on that little photo mat. This is the pocket from, doo -doo -doo, from here. I cut the edges off. It was about an inch and a half, I believe, if I'm, if I'm remembering right, because apparently I didn't write that down. I wrote down pocket turned into banner, but I didn't write down that it was um, it was it was one and a half inches. And I um, flag punched it with my triple banner punch. And then I just put it on the page and cut cut the end off. And I actually think I just tossed the end into the recycle bin. And then I added this piece, which the star one is from. page one, and this rainbow sticker is from page six. I had already put the rainbow sticker down here, and so I kind of liked how they were both on the page. I have one more rainbow piece, and it's a little bit of a different color, too. I don't know if it would have looked better. I kind of had thought about putting it here, popping it, but I'm not loving it quite yet. I also have this good vibes and maybe I'll add that, which will bring that green down. That's a possibility. It's another one of those, hmm, this might happen things. So the tag right here is from, oh, this made me smile tag is from page seven. The simple things word, which these are not sticking the greatest, and I didn't take these up and down. I just put them from straight from the little um, the little piece onto here, and they are not sticking great. So I'm probably going to have to go and take these off, run them through my Xyron, or put glue on the back, depending on, on my mood. Right now, it would be a Xyron thing. Tomorrow, it could be glue. Um, but those are from... Where are you at? Simple thing sticker, page 17. Okay, so this is from page 17. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> if I just looked over here, we would have been like, oh, there he is. There's the simple things. Okay, like I said, I can't, I gotta get my hands away from that because it's just gonna keep coming up. Um, this pocket right here is from the mint pockets from page 19. Oh, it's this piece right here, this journaling piece that they have. I actually just cut one inch off the top because it was about four by four. So now it's three by four. And then I just put adhesive here and here and here. I've just put the tag here. I am still debating if I want to put something here. If I do... It would be, and it would match this, so it's probably a good thing to probably put that there. It would be this little sticker right there. And it would tie in with the green, the um, lagoon color here. So those are kind of the things I'm still thinking about. But I wanted to get that video up tonight for you guys, and then I can um, start working on other stuff tomorrow. Because I'm getting into the heart of tax season, and well, the first heart of tax season, I'm going to have to do a lot more of the layouts I already have done. So the next layouts, I had wanted to do some Valentine ones, but I don't have Valentines done. Um, if I get some time to play, I'll toss some Valentines in. But I'm not going to promise 
that I'll get those done. The ones I'm kind of thinking I will do next, let me look and see what if I can think of the name of them. That is my Daisy Meadows. This is, what is this one? Mm, I can't think of the name of it. It's like, these are my people, I think is what it's called. I'll either do that one or I will jump to celebrate this. Yeah, I think I'll do celebrate this and then I'll do these are my people because I still have a few more layouts to do of these are my people. And um, this is how I store my layouts right now. Until I do something with them, they're all in photo mats and they're all in here. So I have, it's this stuff right here, which I celebrate today, I think is what that one's called. And I have a few other things in here too. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, so that is the bucket I'm gonna tackle next. It'll save me from um, having to feel like I need to get a bunch done during the day when I have tax returns. And it'll also let you guys see some of the stuff I've already done that I can talk about. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come play today. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you would love to see more of my videos. Leave a comment. I always appreciate those and I try to get back as soon as possible on those. And have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.